Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today is a new episode of the Free and D special and maybe my favorite so far because we're going to make some beautiful three layer ganache. The first layer is going to be a white chocolate crumble, then there's going to be a hazelnut praline with some vanilla, and finally a dark chocolate and baby's layer. So it's going to be incredible. Please subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing Free and D's videos, but also other cooking videos. And for now, let's begin. First, the Baileys ganache. Pour 80 grams of cream into a saucepan together with 40 grams of Baileys. Bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn off the heat and add 90 grams of dark chocolate and 10 grams of cocoa butter. Emulsify this with a hand blender. Then add 20 grams of butter and mix it once more. Now take your desired mold and fill the bottom. I had these made by Mold Brothers. Tap the molds a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. And let it set in your fridge. Now for the cookie crisp. Transfer 100 grams of hazelnuts into a blender and also add 80 grams of flour, 2 grams of flaky salt, 40 grams of white chocolate and 100 grams of sugar. Now blend this till it's a fine powder. After that add 100 grams of butter and mix it till it's a nice dough. Then transfer it onto a silicon sheet and spread it. Now bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for around 25 minutes till golden. Stir it every 5 minutes with a whisk. Then let it cool down. Once it's cold, pour 100 grams of white chocolate in a bowl and melt it. Now add 80 grams of the crumble and mix it well. Then transfer it onto a silicon sheet, put another sheet on top and spread it using a rolling pin. Then let it cool down in your fridge. Then for the praline ganache. First toast 100 grams of hazelnuts at 160 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. Meanwhile mix 100 grams of sugar with 40 grams of water and caramelize this on a medium heat. Once the caramel is golden, add the hazelnuts and while stirring, caramelize it for a couple of more minutes till the caramel is golden brown. Then pour it onto a silicon sheet and let it cool down completely. After that, break it into smaller pieces and transfer it into a blender. Now cut a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add the seeds to the hazelnuts and then blend it till you have a smooth praline. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Once it's smooth, add 200 grams of cream and 200 grams of white chocolate. Then finally add 3 grams of flaky salt and directly stop mixing after. Now you can pour it in a bowl and then transfer it into a piping bag. Fill your molds halfway and tap them a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. Then take your cookie crisp and cut it with a cutter that has the same size as the mold. Press it on the ganache and then let it set in your freezer for at least 8 hours. Otherwise you won't be able to remove it properly. Then remove the ganache from the mold. Let it defrost in your fridge and then it's ready to be served. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I am stoked about the result. I'm so happy with it. Um, so yeah, let's just have a little taste. I think the whole box looks spectacular. I must say, um, the ganache has already turned soft quite a lot, but the box has been standing here for two hours because I was taking photos, I was making stories, stuff like that. So. When you serve it straight out of the fridge, it should be fine. Don't worry about it. But let's have a taste. Yes. That's amazing. Mm. The bottom layer, it's really crispy, which, give it, which gives it texture. Uh, the praline ganache, that's a winner. I put the same ganache in the chocolate bonbon and it's so delicious. It's really good. The bay leaves gives it a little bit of a kick, which is nice. 
Uh, obviously, you don't need to add Baileys, but for me, it just makes sense. So, um, yeah, overall, really happy. So, like I already said, that's it for today, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And subscribe if you want to support my channel. I'll be uploading one YouTube video of a free and D special this week. Every day, one YouTube video. So that's crazy for me. I hope you uh, you really like the videos. So let me know in the comments. And uh, as always, bon appetit.